Hi, this is Dave Advocate, and this is a short tutorial on ternary diagrams in Excel. Ternary diagrams, such as the one that we see here, are very useful in geoscience and easily made in Excel. These plots are often used for plotting petrographic data or geochemical data. The corners of these plots represent 100% of some element. They could be quartz, feldspar, or rock fragments, for example. Your compositional data can be entered over here in the yellow cells, as well as information about the zone or rock formation and some sample ID number. These numbers are summed up here. If they do not equal 100, over in the green area, they are recalculated and normalized to 100%. And then after that, they are transformed into x and y coordinates using the formulas that you see here. Once the x and y values have been determined, they are plotted on a scatter plot. This ternary diagram is actually a scatter plot. For example, if I click on the plot itself and show you the axes, you can see here that I have axes on the x-axis going from minus 10 to 110 and the y again going from minus 10 to 110. But these axes are hidden from you. Instead, what we've done is we created uh, coordinates for a triangle and then these reference lines. Each reference line is read as 20%. For example, if this is 100%, this would be 80, 60, 40, and so on and so forth. And same thing from the top, where this would be 100%, and left here, where this would be 100%. The other feature of this worksheet is, is that I've made a table here where you can easily change the annotations at the corners. For example, if left would be carbonate, I could put CO3. And at the top, I want SiO2. And on the right, I want clay. And you can see it easily changes these coordinates. So you can do quite a few of these ternary plots and easily change the annotations. In the YouTube video description, I've added a link to this worksheet. Also, there's also another worksheet here to do the folk sandstone classification, where I've just added the reference lines. Otherwise, everything else is the same. And the third worksheet that I've added to this video is the triplot, which is another very useful application that I found, which you can go to the link here and you can download the, uh, the triplot application as well as other documentation. I hope you found this video useful.